Hello everyone! Today we are doing DIY Halloween decorations. I have four prepared. I'll be doing a ghost, a pumpkin, a bone, and a witch's hat. So let's get started. We're going to start off easy with a little bone. I am using Crayola modeling clay. It's just the cheap stuff that, you know, you air dry it. And it takes about 12 hours to set into the shape and then 72 to completely dry. So this isn't completely dry yet. It's just shaped itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to take four you make four of these of any shape size you want. If you want a bigger bone than this, you're going to make bigger circles. I'm just going to make the exact same sizes here. So there's one, and now I have to make three more. Once you have all four, then you're going to make this little piece here that's going to connect it all. I would use about double what you used for one ball, so two balls worth combined. Now what you're gonna do is instead of making it circular, you're gonna roll it out like this to become more cylindrical shape. You're gonna take the two, connect them together, and set them on either sides of your cylinder. And then I like to press it down just a little bit to give it a more organic look, and then there you have it. Boom! Next, we've got a pumpkin. It's a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to show you how I did each section of the pumpkin. I'll actually put it in the background so you can see what we're working towards. I'm going to make almost like a marshmallow shape. And then we'll set this one down here. Because it work, it, it's easier to work with if you have three of them, about three of them to start with. So you're going for cylindrical marshmallow -y shapes. All of about the same size. Need them all to be around at the same height. And similar thicknesses, doesn't have to be exact because it's a pumpkin. So not everything's going to be the exact same, so you go with your judgment if you want them all to be the same or not. Okay, now that we have three, we're going to start sticking them together. And what you're going to do is you're going to start curving them in towards the center. That one might have been a little bit too big. We're going to start over, but you get the idea. I'll fast forward past this. Alright, so they're all kind of bean shaped. Start sticking them together now. Again, you want them all to be about the same height. Slightly curved towards the center because it'll make it easier to connect them all. Okay, so we're gonna push them all towards the center. I think I've come to the conclusion that this is easiest to do if you wait to connect them until you have all five done. That way you can just push them all towards a common goal. Just common center. And then you can kind of go like this to kind of straighten it out. Get a more round shape out of your pumpkin. So you want this side is a little bit more uneven than this side. So I'm gonna make this my top just because it's flatter. And it looks see. I don't know. Pick one side, set it down, and then take just a little bit of clay to make your stem with. And you're just kind of going to make a square out of it. And set it at the top and kind of push it in. And then we have pumpkins! Next we have the witch's hat. This one is a little bit more difficult. Um, so what you're going to do you're going to start out with a little lump of clay and you're going to press it down and then start pushing up towards the center. Kind of make a triangle shape. It's going to get 
thinner as it goes out towards the top. And then you're going to push down at the bottom to make the brim. Kind of flatten it out with your finger. And then once you've flattened the edges, then you're going to work on making a round end all the way around. If you want it to flop up in the front, you can push up on the front to have it flop. You can do whatever you want with the brim. Make, make it thicker, make it thinner, don't have a brim at all. Push it down so it's gonna like go over. Put it on top of your ghost, whatever you wanna do with it. And last, this is probably the hardest one to do. In my unprofessional opinion. So what you, you got to do is you start out with one circular ball. What you're going to do is you're going to push in the center and pull back with your fingers. So what you're doing is your thumb is towards the center and you're pulling the clay up your finger. Now you want to make sure it doesn't get too wide because then it's not really a ghost, it's more like a misshapen bowl. And the folds and stuff are fine because it kind of looks it makes it look more like a sheet ghost you know more cartoony and stuff so and then i use my finger and press down around the edges to give it more of a look and then pull up the sides if you want to make it look more sheet ghost you can leave it like that this is what you'll have when you're done see it fits my finger it actually fits this finger push down and then pinch and then I pulled up the sides a little bit to kind of look like a floating ghost like it's I'm moving towards you here's what we got let it dry overnight well it could take up to 72 hours to fully dry it's not completely dry so I'll get back to you when those 72 hours are up and we'll paint these Alrighty, so it's been 72 hours and our clay sculptures have dried, so we're going to begin to paint them. For the pumpkin, I have Apple Barnes 20588 Pumpkin Orange. And then for the stem, I've got 20521 Nutmeg Brown. So we're going to paint this little stem piece, the brown, and the rest of it orange. Make sure to leave the bottom piece dry, that way there's a place for it to sit while the sides dry, and then you can paint the bottom and the top when the orange is dry. So we'll come back to that in a second. Alright, make sure you clean your brush in between paint colors. The next color we're going to be using is 20594 Royal Violet, again, same brand. And I'm going to paint this entire witch's hat to that color, leaving the bottom piece dry for now so that I don't get paint all over the place. And I'll go back and I'll paint that when the rest of it is dried. I'll go back and I'll probably apply a second coat of the purple since it's not as thick as I would like it to be later after it has dried. Next we have our ghost. Now I'm not going to do a lot to this ghost. However, I do have a black paint to marker a posture pen that I will be using to draw on some ghost eyes. I am using this size right here, 0.7 millimeters to paint on my eyeballs. And once the paints have dried, you're done, and you have yourself some miniature Halloween decorations. Uh, if you do make these, please make sure to, if you post them on Instagram or Twitter, uh, which my links are down below, please link me in them. I would love to see them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!